okay so let's take a look at how you can create pair plot in R so we will take a look at both base package pair plot as well as ggplot and ggle package based pair plot right so first thing let's open our studio then we will install the ggle and dot package right so what we're going to do is we are going to try out example from each of these right so firstly if you're opening R studio or in your future this will be renamed as posit R studio so go to tools install packages and then type in ggle right so you will find that in list as well click install right so another thing is our ggplot right so two of these packages we need to install so tools install package ggplot2 right ggplot2 install right you can even type in command install packages ggplot2 but i think that tool and install packages option is a lot easier right now let's create our script here we will create a seed and let's have that seed 525354 right then we will set into 1000 so x1 and then we will set our norm to this nth value then x2 then we will for use x1 plus r norm right so r norm n then 0 then 3 right so that's x2 done now x3 have x2 into say x1 minus x2 right and then r norm of n 0 2 right so we have like values for our data right we will be just putting in data frame and take those x1 x2 x3 right now we will try and view this data so set seed let's run this n thousand x1 this value x2 then x3 right now let's see our data so if you view the tableau form it will have these values right total of like thousand set of observations right now we have our data what we can do from this point onwards is we will use this pairs function and then pass on our data right so if i run this here you see the pair plot for x1 x2 and x3 with their respective observation so if we expand this you can see the values for the pair plot right now this is with our base package we are not using any external library yet right so let's say if i want to edit some of the values what i can do is i can select value variables of pairs and for that what we'll do is we will use pair function sorry pairs function and then inside this we have tilde then x1 plus x2 plus x3 and comma then data set to data then pairs then tilde then x1 then x3 and then data 
set to data right so if i run this right and then i will also run the second so you'll notice the change in our second observation here you will find that it shows x1 and x3 specific variables of pairs right so you will see that in respective plot right so we managed to do that next thing modifying the color and shape of these points right so what we can do we can add one more function so pairs then we pass on data but this time you use comma then one two three then we use color let's say if i choose orange or even red for simplicity right then pch right set to 18 also labels equals to let's say var1 var2 var3 right now what we can do is we call for pair plot right so our headline should be pair plot we also got label where one two three and color red so if we run this pair plot is now red right so you notice this y1 y2 y3 so we are just replacing x1 x2 x3 with these three as variable names then our main label should be pair plot along with that we also got respective values represented in their plots right so 3 3 6 exactly the way we wanted for our pair plot right now as you can see this is possible with base package so if i want can further go bottom and then call our libraries which we installed earlier so ggplot2 and next library gg alley right so these two libraries we have now i need to call this gg pairs function right but i need to pass some sort of a data so say i have this data that i created here right so if you check this is the tabular data that we created at the start right so i'm going to pass that that should be here so here we are using ggplot2 and ggle so we will have to run this statement as well so run so it should load the ggplot2 right the next ggle right so these two run next thing we will run our ggps function right so let's wait for it to show up so it may take a bit of time right so if we zoom it you will see something like this right so we have three curves x1 x2 x3 position so we have these three point observations here on the right and mid and then respective values to the extreme right and top right so this left and this right here and our curves in the middle right so this is kind of like uh, two options for you to draw these pair plots you can use base package and draw the uh, pair plot using pairs function or you can use ggle package along with ggplot to plot the gg pairs only by passing the data that you create through data frame right so i hope you get the idea how to get pair plot in our language okay if you want to add some theme 
based on ggplot's official themes you can also add say theme underscore let's say classic that can be added as well so if we run this you can see the change as well it will take a bit of time to load and as you can see in classic theme there seems to be no background color right so we can change that you can go with let's say minimal and let's run this as well so we can experiment with few of those theme options and if we zoom this you will find there is a grid at the back so that's the minimal theme then we can also have theme underscore let's see black and white or even gray right so if we run this and if we zoom this it should have this particular background in gray color you can see x1 x2 x3 and we have like three curves and respective observation for that pair plot right so you get the idea how to use the ggplot themes for your pair plot